what's going on everybody got another video here for you this is using power reducing formulas this comes in handy if you're in cal i mean it comes handy in trig but when you're in if you're in calculus and you have to integrate cosine squared sine squared or if you have to integrate cosine to the fourth or sine to the fourth these these this formula here comes in handy there's another one for sine I'll write it down but we're gonna do cosine to the fourth today so the formula is uh, cosine squared of theta is equal to 1 plus cosine 2 theta over 2 and the formula for sine is sine squared theta is equal to 1 minus cosine 2 theta over 2. So these are the formulas we'll use. So we've got cosine, so we're going to be working with this formula here. Now notice the formula is cosine squared is equal to this. Well we have cosine to the fourth, so we don't have a formula for that. But we can rewrite cosine to the fourth is cosine squared squared right because if you have an exponent here exponent here what do you do you multiply them 2 times 2 is 4 so this is the same thing as this just written differently all right so now we can use this formula here we got cosine squared x well what's cosine squared it's 1 plus cosine 2x right we've got an x so we got to do 2 times x over 2 now this part here is just the cosine squared so we also have to put it in parentheses and square it all right so now we have 1 plus cosine 2x squared over 2 squared all right so all I did is I just squared the numerator, squared the denominator. And so this is equal to 1 plus 2 cosine 2x plus cosine squared 2x. And that's all over 4. All right, so, so how, did I, how did I get that? Well, this right here, this numerator... Remember, 1 plus cosine 2x squared is the same thing as 1 plus cosine 2x times 1 plus cosine 2x. And then we just full it. 1 times 1 is 1. And then we've got 1 times cosine 2x plus 1 times cosine 2x. So that's cosine 2x plus cosine 2x is 2 cosine 2x. And then cosine 2x times cosine 2x is cosine squared 2x. All right. So basically what we're doing here is we're trying to reduce this to where there's no exponents larger than 1. Okay. All right. So you can see we still have a squared there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to split this up into 1 over 4 plus 2 cosine 2x over 4 plus cosine squared 2x. And, you know, instead of writing this over 4, I'm going to write it like this. I'm going to write it as 1 fourth cosine squared 2x. I mean, it doesn't matter, but, you know, let's just write with the 1 fourth out there. And so this is 1 fourth plus, now 2 over 4, that reduces to 1 half cosine 2x plus 1 fourth cosine squared 2x. So all I did from this step to this step is I reduced the 2 fourths to 1 half. That's all I did. All right, so now we still have this cosine squared 2x right here. So we need to apply this formula again. And so this is 1 fourth plus 1 half cosine 2x plus 1 fourth times. Now let's apply the formula. So that's going to be 1 plus cosine 
4x over 2. All right. So remember, remember the formula says that cosine squared 2 theta, I'm sorry, cosine squared theta is equal to 1 plus cosine squared, nah, cosine 2 theta over 2. So you see whatever your, whatever your angle is here, you have to double it here. And see, since our angle was 2x, we've got to do 2 times 2x, and that's where that 4x comes from. All right, so now we've got 1 fourth plus 1 half cosine 2x plus, and now let's just, let's, let's write this in several steps. We could probably all do it in one step, but just let's write it out. So let's split this up. That's 1 half plus 1 half cosine 4x and so this is 1 fourth plus 1 half cosine 2x plus and now I'm going to distribute the 1 fourth and so that's going to be 1 eighth plus 1 eighth cosine 4x all right and then you can see we can combine the 1 fourth and 1 eighth and so that's going to be 3 eighths plus 1 half cosine 2x plus 1 eighth cosine 4x. And there it is, reduced. So this is something you would need to do if you had to integrate cosine to the fourth x. Okay? And, I mean, you would have to simplify it to this so you could integrate it. And then sine to the fourth would be done similar. So I'll leave that to you to try on your own. Reduce sine to the, instead of cosine to the fourth, how about you do sine to the fourth x? And let me know in the comments if you get it and type your answer in the comment. All right. But I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it was helpful. Check out my other videos. Give me a like, share, subscribe, comment. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.